God. Yeah, these two horrible, insufferable Harfoots. You know, I don't understand. I don't understand what they're doing. They're here in Rune because at the end of the last season, or somewhere around the end of the last season, Gandalf, not Gandalf, saw some fireflies and like some stars and and this kind of map and one of the horrible little cannibalistic harfoots was like hey maybe um that looks like rune or someone figured it out that's the land of rune or whatever and at the end of the last season gandalf not gandalf was like hey we're gonna go let's go to rune and the cannibal halfling harfoot was like, I'll tag along with you. And then the fat one showed up in this season. What are they doing? Like, what are the... He's, lo he's had, like, a vision or something of a stick and then the volcano and stuff. But they're just blindly... How come no one's asked him that? How come none of these two Harfoots have said, Hey, Mr. <coughs> Wizard, what are we doing? Like, do you know what you're looking for? How come no one's questioning him? No one's questioning what's going on. How come they're not sitting around the campfire one night and being like, are we, are, what do we do? Maybe we should go back to where there's actually trees and lakes and rivers and stuff. We're out here in the middle of the desert. You don't know who you are. You don't know where you come from. You don't even remember your name. And you're following this vision. What are you doing? What are we doing? Like, what is this? I don't know. It just seems like there's no point. It's like, oh, well, let's just follow this vision, I guess, we got. And until we starve to death, I, I, it seems so random. That's how I am watching this show. I wonder if Tom Bombadil is going to show up. I'm like, oi, that's my water. So that's probably going to alert someone. Maybe you should stop it. Oh, he found his stick. Yay! Gandalf has a staff now. What is it? It's a stick. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. The Easterners or whoever they are. Look at these guys. I have a hunch. I don't know what that flag was. I have a hunch. What do you want to bet there's a bunch of white guys underneath those masks? There's no way they could cast a bunch of minorities as villains. This show's way too politically correct. What do you want to bet that even though these are Easterners, that um, <laughs> there's just a bunch of white dudes that look like Vikings underneath those masks? God! Damn! Oh my god, look at that! I tell you, man, you know, look at that! Holy hell! My god! What is he going to break the earth? You know. <laughs> you know what I miss? <laughs> I miss kind of. You remember how the Lord of the Rings did it? We have to compare them, because this is a apparently a prequel. Uh, I miss the whole kind of soft magic system that the Lord of the Rings introduced. It wasn't a hard magic like a like Harry Potter, where everything is full of magic. The Lord of the Rings ki kind of had this soft magic system to where there was magic in the world. There was stuff like that. But it was rare, and it was precious, you know? And it was it was special. And a lot of the times in those early films, whenever Gandalf would use magic... It was, it was more his wisdom and his cunning and his knowledge was so much more important than any kind of magical trick or anything. Throughout the first films, it was all about Gandalf's knowledge and his wisdom as a wizard shown through. And different wizards and different stuff used spells and, and power and stuff. But it was... It was rare, and it was unique and circumstantial. Like, I don't know, man. In that first film, before Gandalf reincarnated as, as Gandalf the White, you know, he rarely... Like, even when he was fighting the orcs and goblins, and um, or just goblins in Khazad-dûm, 
he didn't use any fireballs or stuff like that. He would just use his sword and he and he had that little crystal. You know, the only magic I saw him use was just that little crystal that uh, shone light and, and, and uh, expelled light throughout the area. But it was his wisdom and his memory that helped them get through Cause of Doom and helped them survive that. He used some magic against the Balrog on the bridge, but it was more of like a light kind of magic against this shadow creature this dark creature and then and then there was some against Saruman but it was it was simple it was like let me shoot my staff and just kind of push you back and it inflicted damage but there wasn't anything too out there even when he became Gandalf the White I remember that scene when he's riding out to meet the warriors of um it wasn't Rohan, it was uh, Gondor, and they're coming back from the battle, and the fell beasts are swooping around and picking them up and picking them off, and he goes out there and he lifts his staff, and this light beam shines, and it blinds the fell beasts. You know, things like that. But it was simple. It was, it was, it was basic, you know? You would see other kinds of spells that were larger than life occasionally, like when Saruman was changing the weather and caused the weather to shoot lightning, you know, on the mountain that they were trying to pass. But that was Sauron when he was, you know, and had his full power and stuff. I don't know. It was just kind of a more soft, basic magic system. You never saw these uh, immediate, like, casting an ultra-level spell that just destroy them all, kaboom, or something like that. It was more clever. It was more like, let me think this stuff through. Let me think about, you know, let me use my mind. Let me use tactic. Let's work together as a team. Let's use our environment. Let us let me use my memory and what I know about this area. That was so much more interesting. It, it made them come across as more tactful. Even in The Hobbit. So you go back and now you go to The Hobbit, which is a prequel and stuff. And they increase the power levels of everyone. And Gandalf was doing stuff in The Hobbit that I was like, damn, how come he didn't do any of that stuff in The Lord of the Rings? Like when he showed up in the Goblin Town, and, and it was like a nuclear bomb went off, kaboom! And everyone's just like, what the hell was that? And Gandalf comes from the shadows, pick up your swords and fight. And I'm just like, holy hell, what kind of spell was that? Things like that, you know, and... I don't know, it's just, but you know, so you go back to The Hobbit and you see things like that, but even then, it, was, it wasn't too much, like that one scene was a bit too much, but you saw him in like the battle, you know, when, whenever he's, or, or at the castle, whenever he confronted Saruman and he tried to get away and, and he like kind of hit the wall and, and the bricks crumbled and destroyed the bridge, or whenever Azok is approaching him and Sauron uses his, Sauron. Um, Gandalf uses his staff and pushes him back. It was realistic. It was like, ah, that seems like around Gandalf's level. Like, that seems he's using the environment. He's he's pushing him back with his staff. He's fearless in all of this. So there were some moments in The Hobbit where they increased his power level, but it was still believable. And man, you go back here. Look at this. It's like he caused a giant tornado by... Just saying one phrase by saying one line of magic, which how the hell would he even know how to do that? And it was the same in the last season whenever he went against Eminem. And the chicks of the Traveling Pants, the Sisterhood of Traveling Pants, and he took their staff and was like, Bleh! you know, because he couldn't talk. And then they just blew up. And it was like, is there no creativity here anymore? It's like they're so overpowered now. I don't like it. Every spell has to be a 10th leveled spell that is just so ungodly, just so world-changing, catastrophic, threat-level demon. What are we doing? Where's the creativity? Where's the, let me rely on my wisdom and cunning and, and, and this kind of stuff. It's like, no, no, let me just lift this stick in the sky. And, and Twister, a uh, threat level 5 tornado, descends from heaven, and the heavens open up, and the depths of hell open up, and everyone is killed and destroyed. <laughs> you know, it's just like, man, damn. 
they're so powerful and it just completely chops up the continuity of everything because it's when you do that and you go back to the originals the good ones the lord of the rings trilogy and you're just like where was that how come they didn't use any of that how come at the black gates when gandalf the white now is is with aragorn and all of them and the armies of mordor come marching out how come he didn't just raise his staff which is a proper staff i guess and the sky and say, humbalamba japa laka laka, and then, and then a tornado comes down and kills them all. You know, it's like, what? Why didn't you do that? I don't like these overpowered stuff. And in the and you keep going further and further back, and they keep getting stronger and stronger. I think it messes everything up. I don't really like it.